Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my review for Pokemon X, which of course is the brand new Pokemon game, the first one for the Nintendo 3DS, and it's pretty much the first one I'm ever reviewing, so yay, first Pokemon review from Gore the Movie God. What's up? That's me. So, I'm doing a live review for this, of course, because I, I have a lot of games to review, and the ones that aren't live, the one with gameplay and stuff, are is much harder to do for me, so the live ones are easier to do. So, that might not be as in-depth as usual, but you know what? It's Pokemon. Come on. I mean, Pokemon's great, but we know what Pokemon is. So, let's get straight into it with the story. The story for Pokemon X is exactly what you would expect. It follows you as a boy or a girl, whatever one you want to pick, uh, you moving into a brand new town, and of course this entire world is infested with these Pokemon, which are these creatures that uh, little boys and girls and men and women collect by catching them, and then they use them to fight other Pokemon that other people might have, or they might be randomly in the environment, and people just collect them. And you are a young trainer, wants to be, you know, I guess a big shot, whatever, and you get a Pokédex, which is a thing that identifies Pokemon. A professor tells you, hey, go out there and identify a bunch of Pokemon, tell me about all these new different species and stuff, and just have fun. So you and a bunch of your brand new friends go out and, of course, you know, collect Pokemon, get gym badges, become the best you can be. So that's the story. I mean, hey, it's Pokemon. Even though the story is exactly what you would expect, I feel like they added too much dialogue and too many characters in this game because in Pokemon Red, like over 10 years ago, that game had barely any story. You go out, you you know, capture Pokemon, you beat gym leaders, and there's barely any dialogue. Here, that's pretty much the story, except you have a bunch of people that want to talk to you all the time. Here's a new character. Oh, this person might be a villain. Oh, they might not be. It's just there's too much there's too much dialogue, I feel, and it slows the game down. Not too much. There's plenty of times where you get to go and explore yourself without, you know, having to be stopped every five seconds. But I feel like there's too much dialogue at times, and I didn't care for the story at all. None of the characters, nobody. Nobody's memorable in this game. So yeah, that's how I feel. The story is meh. Now the sound on the other hand is very good because it's exactly what you expect from Pokemon. You have cheerful music following you wherever you go and then when you get into a battle you have that very energetic music, that battle music which we all love. It's updated for the 3DS and it sounds great in my opinion. Uh, you also have great sound design. You hear some Pokemon sometimes say little things here and there, you know, like their names or something. But for the most part there's no real voice acting in this game. So overall I think actually the sound is is great in this game. Also the graphics, because it's on 3DS, it does not look like 2D sprites or maybe like kind of a 3D perspective. Here it's completely 3D and it actually looks very good, especially when you get into the battle sequences and you can turn the 3D on on the 3DS and it looks perfect. It really does. All the all the different Pokemon you get to collect, uh, collect in this game are all 3D modeled, look fantastic. I mean really good on a 3DS. Very crisp, very nice. It's a very beautiful game, very colorful. It looks great. So overall sound and graphics look great in this game. Or, and, and sound great. But the most important part of a Pokemon game of course is the gameplay and Pokemon X is a very fun Pokemon game. You start off with a starter Pokemon, you go out, you start using Pokeballs to collect other Pokemon, you can nickname them, which is like my favorite feature because you get to name them the dumbest things, and you just go out, collect more, train your Pokemon, level them up until they evolve and learn new moves, and go fight some gym bosses and just, you know, progress. Even though the story gets in the way, the gameplay you know, the, the turn-based uh, strategy type gameplay that it has been around for years is still as solid as ever. It's pretty much exactly the same as every Pokemon game. You select your move, you fight the Pokemon, they get to hit you, you get to hit them, you keep going at it until one person doesn't have any more Pokemon left, or the Pokemon that you're fighting is either dead or you can capture it. And, well, not dead, unconscious, I'm sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to scare kids out there, but it's a really, really entertaining game and the turn-based strategy combat, it's been around for so long and it's still not outdated. It's so much fun, especially since they're adding so many new things to this. My favorite new feature in the turn-based battle sequences is the experience sharing, which if you don't know, in the last games, if you wanted to train a Pokemon, but he was too weak to fight the Pokemon, you would have to send that Pokemon out and then return it, and then that Pokemon will get some experience so it can level up. Here, there's an ability that will share all the experience you got 
from the battle to every Pokemon you have in your inventory, which is the best idea because, oh boy, I hated switching Pokemon over and over again. Here, you don't even need to do that. You can fight it with your best Pokemon and everybody will get some experience. And that is a great idea. The turn base is great. Be being able to use items and stuff, you know, potions and whatnot. Do I really need to explain that? It's just really, really fun. And there are tons and tons of Pokemon to collect in this game. I don't know the exact number, but I know there is a lot of Pokemon to get. So if you want to actually collect them all, you will be playing this game for a very, very long time. But my favorite part about all the Pokemon is that in the beginning of the game, you would assume assume that this is a, you know, a 2013 Pokemon game, so they're going to probably shovel all of the brand new Pokemon in your face. They don't really do that. They give you some of those, but they also give you some of the classic Pokemon, like, of course, Pidgey and my favorite, Pikachu. You can get a Pikachu in the beginning of this game. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. The review's done. I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, yeah, I love that, that they actually give you the choice of, you know, new or old. You can just, you can, you know, a mixture of that, and I love that. And even though it's a, you know, a standard Pokemon game at its heart, there is plenty of new stuff in this game. Well, a couple of the biggest ones is that they finally made a fairy type Pokemon and a dragon type. So there's two different types of Pokemon in this game now. You have fairy and you have dragon, but you also have the mega evolutions, which are just pretty much more evolved versions of Pokemon that we've seen before. Uh, Charizard, Mega Charizard. He has ba he's more badass. Uh, he's stronger. He's got more abilities and stuff. So Mega Evolutions are really cool. Also, you have some new features like Pokemon Ami, which I barely played to be honest. But all it is is pretty much you picking a certain uh, Pokemon from your inventory, and then you get to pet them and feed them and play really crappy mini games with them, and you actually start start to grow a bond with those Pokemon and I thought it was you know an, a cool idea I just didn't really play it too much but it's a new feature of course the the world itself is massive it's pretty I would say it's bigger than any other Pokemon game at least from what I've played so far it's a really really big world with plenty of stuff to do tons and tons of Pokemon to collect it's just a fun time and of course if you want to play online you can play with friends online by battling them and trading Pokemon and whatever you want to do so I mean this is Pokemon it's exactly what you would expect and it, it gives you exactly what you want it's probably one of the best Pokemon games ever it's a lot of fun and the only couple of problems I have is Pokemon to me is you know is okay and the story sometimes sometimes gets in the in the way of the gameplay but besides that Pokemon X is a great game definitely go check it out if you haven't already I'm pretty sure you have so there you go Pokemon X definitely go get it it's a it's a beautiful game and it's a lot of fun thank you and goodbye